Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Romania. So I've had a, a few people uh, that are concerned about the how slow things have been going. We've been making a little over a month per episode. Uh, and, and for me, I feel like that's actually a really good pace. Uh, when you're controlling an entire front like this, uh, a huge, massive, wide front like this, I mean, this is, this is probably one of the largest fronts I've ever seen, actually. Uh, even larger if you count if one to put the Russians in. This is a massive front, guys. Uh, it's all across Europe. Uh, we're manually controlling every single division. Uh, so I feel like we're making very good uh, progress. Uh, and, and for me, I've never... I never really understood the obsession about the the time uh, some people have. Uh, for me, it's more important that you make like actual progress. Uh, I want to see like that we're we're pushing forward and we're taking over a lot of territory. And if we're doing that, if we're taking over a lot of territory, that's progress to me. Uh, that's what I like to see happen. Uh, cutting off lots of troops, taking lots of territory, killing lots of, of bad guys. <laughs> so uh, I think that we've been actually making pretty good pace considering. Uh, the way thing, how much I'm controlling. Uh, so that's probably going to be expected to continue that way until the Germans are knocked out of the conflict. Just wanted to comment about that because I've had a few people uh, bring it up. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get started, guys. Um, so again, we're going to drop the nuke here, although I kind of want to drop it. This seems like we should be able to win here, honestly. I, I don't know. Well, let's take a look see if we, we put more troops there, if we can win. We might have to. I wanted to drop it against these guys, so let's see. All right, we might not actually need to drop it against them. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Let's just drop it here then. That's fine. Uh, clearly we can't win there. So we'll drop them there. And uh, we might actually be able to get this area wrapped up. I didn't know if we were going to be able to uh, just cause it is such a problematic area. And there are troops that are cut off. I don't know how we got this far ahead and didn't wrap these guys up. That's one of the reasons why we're probably having some difficulty pushing forward here. Uh, it's just we have so many troops cut off back here that we haven't haven't dealt with yet. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue pushing forward. We do have the uh, paratroopers here, and uh, it does look like we're now set to defend British territory. We'll, we'll finish that defense up, but yeah, I don't really care about the British territory. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack here, see if our tanks can't get there first. Let's go attack with these guys as well. Push this forward here, and also attack right there. And uh, let's get all these guys just pushing forward, get this done, man. I know we're attacking across some uh, across some rivers. Uh, sometimes there's no way to avoid that. And uh, these troops here can go up onto that front. Still, have not finished this up. We push, keep pushing forward this way, but just can't. Uh, good God, man! I just can't get it done. <laughs> yeah, it's just getting. It's just ever widening the front. Uh, what we need to do is decrease the front line front. Because frankly, they can't. They can't even handle this. Um, so let's go ahead and I think this is the right one. That was not right. The right one. My bad, guys. All right, so we want, oops, I'm gonna pull these guys back like so and pull them. That should be, there we go, beautiful. All right, uh, so Red Army cover more of that for us uh, since the Green Army wasn't very effective in doing this, though it did allow us to cut two more troops off and we can now get those guys destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here since there's nobody there to stop us. Same thing here. It looks like a lot of our troops are confused uh, going into other fronts that I don't want them to go to. Let's go ahead and start attacking across here. And uh, support that attack. We've got a lot of troops here that are currently cut off from supply. So make sure these guys go all across here. And uh, again, well, you know what? We're about to cut these guys off. Yeah, we got that one, and we got that one. So we're cutting troops off. So we won't attack there just yet. Got the Spanish way over here. Okay, the Spanish are everywhere, man. Uh, they still have a lot of divisions, though. I guess it's not surprising. Uh, we are winning there. Keep that going. Looks like we got more troops here cut off. Let's go and take these tanks and get them to do a little attack. Doesn't look like they can do it on their own, so we're going to send another division in. Help them out. We did win there. We won there as well. And we won across here. All right, so uh, we actually won a lot of territory here then. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys attack here. And that's going to be a loss. Uh, we're just trying to get these defenses finished up right here. And... Frankly, not really anywhere we can push forward right now. We'll try and attack that guy, though. Okay. So, we dropped the bomb there, and that did result in that now being green. Uh, so, yeah, we should be able to get an easy victory there now. We're getting that one, too, and that'll kind of put them down to these two provinces here. What we should have did is did this a little bit more strategically so that... Damn it, they ended up taking it. Uh, so that we ended up with all the divisions in a... Uh, a non-fortified province that would have been way smarter. Uh, but whatever. It is what it is. 
All right, so let's see what happened over here. So we do have Berlin under our control. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of weird now. Let's gonna have these guys go over this way, the paratroopers. And uh, attacking over there, attacking over here. Yeah, I'm glad that we got Berlin. I didn't think we were going to do it for a while there. And uh, let's go ahead and take this guy and have him take that province for us. And let's stop them from attacking across here. Uh, I know they're attacking in a fort, but I don't actually want them to... Or maybe we should have him instead go... Oh, no, we're winning there. All right. All right, so still trying to get this wrapped up. It looks like we might be able to win there. Just trying to start closing up from this side. That's where we had the most difficulty, is trying to close up this side here. Uh, here we just keep on stretching up more north. Yeah, they still got a lot of troops there uh, in Vienna. I think once we take Vienna, the Germans will capitulate. Uh, let's go over to the Spanish front. I keep forgetting about this one, uh, which is actually important to get this wrapped up here. Uh, if we can just get across here, we'll have them cut off from supply. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to attack over here as well. We might actually be able to win. That's the way it looks. All right, we'll attack this way too. And then, yeah, maybe just start. Well, this is all cross rivers. We don't really want to attack cross rivers. Let's instead go this way. Just kind of shorten this up a little bit and uh, hopefully get those guys cut off soon. All right, not entirely sure what the hell's going on with the front. Uh, it is ugly, to say the least, though. Oh, okay, that's not... Oh, okay, I see what the hell's going on here. So let's just take all these guys and have them try and finish that up, man. And see if we can't get here. It's a lot of troops, man, that will be freed up once we get that done. Uh, and let's go and attack over this way with all these troops here. And uh, take these guys and have them try and wrap it up with 19 divisions. Yeah, this is big, guys. The Germans are going to capitulate pretty soon. In fact, I would be really surprised if they don't capitulate this episode, actually. All right, so he's clearly not going to win. That's surprising. I thought we had that. All right, a lot of uh, undefended territory here. Attack across here. We won there as well. This fucking pocket here, man. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, you know what? Let me try and attack over this way and then, like, support with this guy. Just trying to close that up. Uh, it's just been challenging. All right, let's go this way, and there's an opening up over here, so it's gonna have those guys attack over there. Uh, let's attack all across this territory. Uh, bring the tanks over here. Lock those guys down. I uh, got more troops here cut off from supply, so let's go ahead and get them all wiped out. Should be easy enough. Attack over across here as well, just to stop that, that attack of theirs. Let's go ahead and get across here, and uh, see if we can eventually cut those guys off there. And also, we could probably cut some troops off here. Yeah, we'll go this way instead, and then have both of these guys attack over this way and cut off those guys. All right, uh, not any attacks all along there that I see. Uh, this one's open, so we're gonna attack those guys. Uh, these guys can go here and almost wrap this up. This actually frees up a ton of divisions. Let's get it finished up. All right, uh, one there as well, okay. Let's go ahead and dip back down to this front, uh, as we're still attempting to cut troops off and get control. Oops. Uh, I don't know what the hell just happened there. Let's go ahead and these guys attack across here. They'll go there. We should cut those guys off. And let's take a look. Uh, I sunk two uh, Japanese convoys. Now, there is a potential naval invasion here. I'm not going to defend against it. I'm just going to hope that they don't, they're not able to launch it. I think it's coming from here. Uh, it's not a dangerous naval invasion, so it's not launched yet. And all we need to do is take these damn ports over and then they're done for. Uh, taking the Suez would also stop them from invading from elsewhere. So uh, we're almost there where they won't be able to stop us. I need to, to stop missing some of these important fronts here, man. We, we haven't been uh, we haven't been fighting on and we're making mistakes because of that. I bring you guys in to my mistakes, by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> we'll let that guy get across the river, I suppose. And uh, we'll go this way. I need to close this up a little bit and see if we can't make it happen. Uh, I'll attack there and... I don't want to close up too much though, because we're still trying to get the wind here. So let's see if we can't do it somewhere along here. We can't attack from both the same province, unfortunately. All right, well, let's go and shorten this up then. That's, that's part of the problem. The divisions are too spread out. Uh, so it looks like we did win there. Awesome. So that I'm gonna let those guys just uh, get assigned elsewhere. We still got troops here that need to get wiped out. Let's go and finish that up. And this big old group of troops here need to be finished up too was 19 divisions, looked like we destroyed one of them. 
So I'm gonna try attacking across here again and uh, try and get over here. Although he's technically retreating and German Reich just capitulated. There we go, guys. Awesome. They still have, they still have 50,000 infantry equipment. Okay. Uh, so I thought I had saw. I think that is exactly what happened, guys. I think once they had less troops because we had destroyed them, I think what ended up happening is that they ended up being better off in equipment because they had less troops that needed equipment. So this ended up all going into our hands. I'm actually quite surprised with that. I didn't think that was going to happen. Um, but yeah, we got control over all of it. Oh, because we weren't in the Allies. That's why. If we had joined the Allies, they would have got control of all this. Okay, wow, that's fantastic. I'm wondering how we're doing on war participation now. Uh, we now have 31%. Is that more than the British? Uh, they currently have 31%, so we're equal with the British. The Americans have uh, 23%. So we're tied. So now it's about Spain. Uh, so the Spanish, because they're the last ones that need to be defeated, uh, they're 60% towards capitulation. Remember, we do have to join the Allies before we capitulate them, because that could cause some massive problems with peace treaties. And so now that we're done with that, um, we got to work at, at getting all the troops destroyed. And then we'll have to figure out where we're going to uh, send all of our divisions, man. Uh, so get all these guys wrapped up. Um, need to finish this up. This is... A lot of divisions here. Uh, we still got to deal with this. <laughs> oh, I thought we were liberated from that, but no. Let's go and finish up there. Got a little area, area right here that we need to take care of. Uh, this here is wrapped up as well. Yeah, there's no troops here any longer, so we can just go and delete all this. And I suppose we're going to need to start sending our divisions elsewhere. Uh, so we know we want to go into Spain. Um, what I'm going to do is send these guys down there. Take them and just uh, put them all the way across this front here with Spanish. Just give them an order, and they'll start heading on down there now. And uh, figure out where we want to put the rest of these guys. Um, obviously, we need more troops here to wrap this up, so we'll take the Red Army and have them come up along here with help us out. Since we have had some difficulty here. Oops. There we go. So having those extra divisions should help out a lot. Um, interesting that Poland got this territory. Okay. Uh, there's one province there that needs to be dealt with. Let's go and send all these guys over this way. Just delete this. Uh, we'll see if the allies deal with that for us. Uh, but yeah, man, look at all this territory we got. Wow. All right. Uh, so now we can, we can start sending all these divisions elsewhere. Uh, so let's take these guys and move them on over to this front. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shorten up the fronts, uh, I think. I'm going to shorten all the fronts up. Just kind of take a look at how that looks. And then we'll be able to pull... I don't see any reason why we'll be able to pull the Russians in now. With all these extra divisions that we're going to be bringing over there. Yeah. Uh, we need to get supply uh, dealt with, though. I think that this will be an issue, having this many divisions. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, so we'll have to want to check out that infrastructure. See if there's anything we can do in that regard. Oops. And the planning bonus. Um, yeah, this looks pretty solid now. There are five divisions there. All right, so we're actually going to have to move a few divisions uh, over there, like maybe one tank division or something like that. Just one of these guys. Oh, well, not to the modern tank. Let's take these guys instead. Hopefully that's enough to uh, defend there for right now. Uh, and how are these guys looking? They're 14 divisions. Probably want to put a couple more there. Uh, and I almost want to put these guys in since we, we have a lot of armies here. I think we're going to go ahead and put them onto this front here. And then, uh, you know, into that army. And then just give them a planning bonus. All right, just so we have less uh, armies. It doesn't make sense to have that many. All right. Um, what else do we have to do? Uh, we got these guys. Um, so let's go ahead and take them. And we're going to move them down here for right now. I'm just going to put them all. I don't know if they have an order. Let's just get rid of any orders they might have. And then send them to uh, Anatolia uh, so that we can maybe help out here. Or if there's any naval invasions uh, that are successful before we're able to conquer there, uh, we'll be able to uh, push them back into the sea. Uh, so that's what we'll do with those guys. I'm really happy that the uh, paratroopers made it here, man. I didn't know if that was going to work or not, but ended up uh, being all right. You know, I help out there. Maybe we'll send the paratroopers to to help out. You know, with these areas here. Though I think we will have to ask for uh, access. Uh, where is it? All right. So let's ask for military access there. And I think we've got everybody assigned. Green army just taking care of that for us. Oh, the yellow army. Yes, the yellow army. So this is our, our uh, smaller division army. So this would be perfect for Asia. Uh, and in fact, it'd probably be really good for. 
No, no, we don't want to do a naval invasion with the smaller divisions. It'd be really good for an offensive over here, but I'm kind of a, we're a little bit worried about supply. So what we're going to do is let's just have these guys like in, we'll put them in Stalingrad. Put them in Stalingrad for right now, and we'll eventually want to move them over there, but we've got to get some stuff dealt with first, guys. Uh, let's go and get the, the infrastructure dealt with here. We're going to want to increase this as like high as possible uh, all across here. Well, maybe not as high as possible. You get what I mean? Higher, uh, more than likely. I don't know if we need to build there, but it does give them resources, so we'll go ahead and build up. We're gonna try and get up to like level six at the very least throughout this territory. And uh, it's gonna require building quite a bit. And just hope that the supply goes the way I want it to go. We'll have to see. Um, but frankly, yeah, we've got a lot of infrastructure to build. We'll see how that looks and see how, how where the supply is going. Uh, but that does give more resources to both us and Russia, so there is that advantage. I think that's good, though, for right now. We do need to tick all this other stuff down the bottom. There's going to be a ton of stuff. It's probably take me an hour to click through all these because we did just get all in control of all that Russian territory, that, or excuse me, German territory and Russian territory uh, that was highly damaged. Oh, yeah, good God, this is going to take forever. <laughs> I should have uh, probably would have been quicker to click those other ones up to the top. I didn't, I didn't realize until after I started doing it just how bad this was going to be. Good God. Oh, we're never gonna get through this. <laughs> oh Lord, man. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a lot of territory they got. We did it. We got through it. Good God. Oh my. Okay. Uh, so we do need to garrison more territory as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Garrison any area that we have. Now we're gonna lose control of this once we join the allies. Some of this is gonna be is gonna be lost. Uh, there's no way to deal with that. Just gonna make sure we're garrisoning everything. It takes, currently, it takes, yeah, more divisions that we have that, to, to occupy all this, unfortunately. Uh, Berlin needs it, though, even though technically we only have the city in our hands. All right, so that looks good. Looks like some territory here needs to be covered. And yeah, all this is, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't even know if this is worth it since the Spanish, you know what? Screw it, we don't even have enough divisions to do it anyway. Spanish are gonna be defeated soon. Uh, we won't worry about it. Let's just focus on getting this done. Uh, and also just finishing up, wrapping these uh, areas up. Cause again, this does all help towards our war participation. So we do want to, to do it. Uh, should be a lot easier to break through here now that we don't have to worry about the damn uh, German divisions. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can't cut these guys off from their uh, capital here. Um, and yeah, they still have the, the Germans hold Vienna still. All right, we won't. We'll attack there just yet. I don't actually want to attack from any Ger uh, German, or excuse me, any, uh, Polish or Allied territory. I guess, I guess the Polish are in the Allies. All right, so that looks good. I think we got this wrapped up here over overall as well. Uh, let's see how this here is going. Uh, these guys now can be destroyed. Let's go ahead and finish them up. And let's get across the Suez now. Oops. And, uh... Make it so they can't come through here any longer. Got another convoy sunk there. All right. And then these guys here, uh, the paratroopers, we're going to put them up on this front right here. So we can wipe them out and hopefully Poland deals with that area. All right. So we have a lot of troops over here. I forgot we have the green army troops over here as well. Uh, so they'll all be uh, coming over here. We're probably going to need all of our, all three of our armies here to get this wiped out. There's still a lot of divisions here, guys. Let's go this way, attack over that way, just stop them from coming over here. Eh, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's go attack over here. They do have fortifications all along here, so it just makes it difficult to, to get wins. That's actually, I think, one of our provinces they took from us. Let's go and go back over to the Spanish province. Still trying to get the, looks like we did win there. All right, awesome. So uh, let's go and start wiping out the divisions that are here. Uh, we just about got them cut off there. Uh, we're also open here. Uh, they're going to try and cut us off there. Can we beat them over there one day in eight hours? We'll get there in nine hours. Yeah, we'll beat them. All right, uh, but these guys are going to get there first, so let's go and attack them. Same thing here. They're really trying to cut us off across this territory, which we don't want to let that shit happen. All right, so they are cut off from supply. So we better get this wrapped up pretty soon. And... Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on here. We need to take these guys, get them going over here. And just delete that. 
And the Netherlands wants access? Sure, why not? Alright, so uh, let's take a look at the situation here. See if there's uh, anything else we can do. We need to get these guys cut off, so let's go ahead and wipe them out now. Uh, though a lot of revisions decide they're going to take the railroads. <laughs> so uh, they're all pretty low on organization right now. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Let's see if we can win with what we got. I'm trying to avoid too much front management if I can. Fixing fronts and stuff. And these guys did win here. Alright, so we're just kind of pushing forward there. And the other front is right here. And uh, I do get across, so it's going to go... Let me see if... Uh, I, I want to say that this should be contested now. Yeah, it's contested. Alright, awesome. Alright, so uh, we just need to get control of that one province right there. And then it will no longer be contested. Alright, so let's go ahead and take Cairo now. And I think... Yes, it is friendly. So they cannot go through here anymore. Uh, they still can do the naval invasions from these ports, so I think they might be doing it from Alexandria if I had to guess. Uh, so, But we, had, we do have troops coming down there just in case. Uh, so nothing to worry about, guys. Uh, these guys are moving. Um, looks like I did forget about an army. Okay, we have this army here. All right. Um, let's just... I, I just don't want to pump a bunch of divisions over to the east, causing massive issues, guys. I think that'd be stupid. So we gotta be careful. Uh, we don't uh, cause ourselves supply issues in that that region. All right, so we need to get these ones here ramped up. Uh, we already have divisions coming over here, so let's just attack over this way. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the hell's going on across here. It's kind of a weird situation. Uh, let's just try and fix this. Uh, and probably cut these guys off here. If they wanna attack that way, it's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, and let's just make sure they can't cut us off. It doesn't look like that's going to be a success. What if I send another division? No. Alright, we've got to get... I'm trying to get those... Oh, it might have been. Got to get this wrapped up over here. Uh, and we did win here. Alright, so these guys are just about done. Uh, we just got a few more divisions here to uh, destroy. Uh, let's take a look at the situation here. Uh, we just need to go ahead and grab that port right there in Danzig, and then those Italians will be cut off from supply. Uh, let's take a look and see if there's... Yeah, there's still a few things left to be done here. Let's go ahead and just attack with everybody. Get those guys wiped out. Let's go ahead and push across here. I guess this guy can attack there. Right, attack over that way. Yeah, they're looking pretty weak now, guys. I know we are attacking into mountains and forts and stuff, so it's not easy attacks, but yeah, we should hopefully get them wrapped up soon. Green Army's now coming down here as well, so we'll have a full three armies as the Red Army, Green Army, and, uh, or I guess those are the two that are moving over there. All right, um, so need to get these guys here destroyed. I'll take care of that now. And these guys here are also getting wrapped up now. Uh, just got that finished. Now, we have met up with the, the Metzgen front now. Uh, so, let's get these guys destroyed. We're going to try and get as much of this into our own hands as possible. How much longer until the Spanish capitulate? Oh, they're about to. 99%. I'm glad I looked at that. We almost had issues. So, let's go ahead and join the Allies. Again, it will cause problems across all our fronts. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, so, let's go ahead and, and join them up. Uh, and... Asked to join their faction. And there we go. We are now part of the Allies. Uh, so that will actually help. I, I, I'm surprised this didn't go to France. It's supposed to go to France uh, because they're an ally now. It might still. Let's see what decisions we have available here. We have, uh, oh yes, all the stuff down here that we're not going to do because the war is just about over. These guys won't be exiled anymore. They shouldn't even be considered exiled, actually. A little bit surprised. I didn't look at who it was, though, so maybe, maybe it wasn't the uh, the Dutch and the Belgians like I thought it was. All right. Um, so the uh, Russians still aren't in the conflict yet. I'm just looking across the front and seeing what how things are adjusting. We, we gotta wait. We won't be able to pull them in anytime soon. All right. Um, so just getting these uh, the Spaniards knocked out, and then we're gonna get the peace treaty, and we'll see what we're able to get. I'm excited, actually. I'm excited to see how it goes. We're just going to try and get as much territory as we can into our hands, uh, occupying. And, 
Yeah, these guys should. As soon as that's wrapped up, they'll come on over to here. Uh, oh, yes, we still have another front, and this is another way to get war participation, so we do need to, to keep fighting here. Uh, trying to take territory where we can. Uh, we did win there, so let's go ahead and have... Okay, uh, let's attack here then. Don't need to defend that one. All right. I'm just trying to get as much as we can. There we go. That's all we were able to get. All right, so we are the leader in the peace treaty. Um, yeah, I think we... I don't know what the percentage was. I wish I had looking at, looked at the casualties before we ended this. Uh, damn, I wish we had seen that. But anyway, it was really, really high casualties. It was absolutely insane just how many Germans uh, we killed overall. All right, so man, there's a lot of stuff to uh, be done right now. Uh, let's start out by making sure that we get this territory here. We are the first ones to be able to act because uh, so we did have the most points, so that's awesome. I didn't know how that was going to go down. Ended up going down quite well for us. We've got to get this territory dealt with. I know it's not important, but it's important for map map reasons. Um, God, oh God, I want to get Italian territory um, too. What we could do... Well, yeah, they don't border anything. So as long as we don't let them take... And they can't create Russia. So yeah, I think all we need to do is give this one province to Russia. And then we can worry about the rest of this later. I mean, it's pretty cheap though, so... Yeah, I guess it's not really... Oh, you know what? We can't give it to the Russians. Shit, because I didn't pull the Russians in. Oh, no. All right, we got to take it for ourselves, guys. Shit. All right. Yeah, that's a real shame. I wish I'd been able to give this to the Russians. Uh, but we they're not in the war, so... Damn it, I didn't even think about that. That's unfortunate. That's incredibly unfortunate, guys. All right. Is what it is. Yeah, but I'm pretty positive you can't take territory for a puppet if they're not in the conflict. Uh, so that's that's a real shame, guys. All right, well, whatever. Let's go and get the uh, all again all the territory that borders us. We want to make sure we get control of, uh, and then I think we're gonna go ahead and make sure we get uh, control of the Italian territory as well. And this little bit of territory here, I would like to have. Looking, eventually we want to get all this too. Although, fuck, man, that sucks. Uh, they can't give any territory to the Russians. I didn't even think about that, guys. We should have we should have pulled them in. All right, well, I want Italy, uh, so let's go and try and seize control of much of Italy as possible. We'll see what we can get here. We do occupy all this, so that's one advantage, but, yeah, unfortunately, we can only do so much here. Maybe what we should do... Let's pull this back. Maybe I should do something different. I'm worried about them puppeting uh, these countries. We don't want Italy puppeted. I think I'm going to try and puppet uh, the, the Germans, though, so they don't do it. Let me see if we can do that. Uh, we can make them into a supervised state, but we cannot puppet them. Uh, so I suppose that's fine. And they'll get uh, Berlin. I think that's what we're going to do. Just looking for other options here. Yeah, I think we'll we'll make them into a supervised state. Because if we don't, then the allies will do it. All right, so we'll do that. And then, uh, I mean, if they puppet the Italians or, or free them or whatever, there's nothing I can do about it, frankly. All right, so let's go and just start taking territory now. Uh, we do want to take uh, the Austrian territory as well, and they'll probably puppet Austria. Uh, so we should probably get all that, and then let's see what we can get into Italy. Nothing. All right. Set so to go like this for right now. Could get that there, um, but might as well finish this up so I don't have to worry about it. It just sucks, man. Uh, I'm real, I'm real, really bummed out about the fact that we can't, oh, we can't do all this. All right, I'll have to pull back on some of this then. Uh, can we get the nine? We get not. All right, well, there's some cheap territory up here, but man, that's such a bummer. Yeah, I messed that up, guys. I should have brought the the Russians in. I had completely forgot that we couldn't give them territory. All right, well, is what it is. This is all we can get. Let's go and end our turn and uh, see what the Germans did. They made a supervised state of Iceland, uh, and they satellite Czechoslovakia. Ah, that sucks. All right, so yeah, we have Czechoslovakia now. It's going to be in between us and Germany. Nothing to be done about it, though. Uh, let's go and continue taking territory. Uh, again, we want all the territory here. And maybe give the Germans their territory back. I don't know. We'll see. Let's focus on Italy, because I don't want them to uh, puppet the Italians. So let's take as much of Italy as we can. Maybe we can. No, we can't get anywhere here. All right, that's a shame. I guess we can go ahead and wrap this up then. We should have enough points, hopefully. Oh, nope. Just a little bit short there. All right, so that looks pretty good. 
and uh, we'll have to see what they, they do next. I think the British and the Americans might get a chance now. Uh, so let's go and end a turn. Uh, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, and Estonia excuse me, have all been uh, freed. Okay, that's actually not surprising. All right, so continue taking Italian territory. We just can't get a lot done each turn, uh, but we'll try and get as much as we can. Uh, can't get Sicily, it's probably too expensive. Uh, could get this territory though. Nope, can't get that either. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just finish up here then. And not sure if we want to go ahead and start taking territory for the Germans. I don't imagine the Allies will take it, but they could. Uh, they could potentially take it. I want to make sure the Germans do, you know, uh, you know, get all this territory here. So let's see if we can't get them something. Probably not. No, it's all pretty expensive. All right. Uh, I'm just looking for something that's cheap. Uh, we could become a colonial power and get control of Libya. Uh, that'd be an option. Uh, maybe. I mean, it's all really cheap. But yeah, it's not just not a priority. I'm looking for really cheap stuff, but I'm not seeing anything, guys. We could go ahead and start pushing forward on this. It, it does look like we're going to have to take all this for ourselves. Which is a shame, because I would have given, so given some of it to Russia. But again, messed it up, so nothing to be done about it. Uh, so we'll just look for some cheap stuff here. And there's probably nothing. Oh, there's 11 points there. Um, it could just be given to Poland, though. I'm kind of thinking, well, no, this is all German territory here. And I'm thinking we might just give that to Germany. And I'd like to connect with them here. So, yeah, we will go ahead and take that one right there. All right, so that's how that looks. Let's go ahead and probably end our turn. I don't think there's anything else we can get at this point. Uh, I guess we can go after these ones because, uh, again, we're going to want to take that. We'll just wait. I'm not going to rush it when uh, there's potential for problems. All right, so let's go ahead and end our turn. See what the allies did. Uh, Ukraine has been puppeted. Damn it. All right. Well, that's a shame. Uh, Ethiopia has been puppeted, and uh, Libya has. Okay, uh, we expected him to do a lot of stuff like that, so not really surprising. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on taking territory. Uh, so we want... Hmm, I think that this could end up going to Poland, so let's make sure we take that. And I'm so irritated that I didn't get... Uh... Oh, that, was a, that was a big mistake. They might end up creating Belarus, and that would be fine, I suppose. I think that's probably what they're going to end up doing. Uh, let's go and get the rest of uh, Italy. Uh, we want Sicily. And we can go and take Sardinia. And then let's try and take this territory too. Uh, well, we got what we got. I'm um, at 68 points. Maybe we can do something with the Germans, perhaps. Or we can just take more territory over here. Though I'm almost inclined to give... Well, never mind. Uh, that's all Ukraine gets. We have all the Ukrainian territory. Alright, so we won't do that then. We can go up this way though, so we'll undo that. And uh, I've got all the territory over that way. I don't think there's going to be anything that we can do. If we can't do that 11.1, then that's it. Let's go and end our turn. And let's take a look see what they did. Uh, okay, they created another satellite down here in Africa. Unless there's another one that they can create right there, which I assume would be their next move. Uh, the Americans haven't done anything, uh, surprisingly. Uh, let's go and take the rest of the Italian territory here. And then, do we want to start giving territory to the Germans? Probably. I think that's what we should do next. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting Germany filled out, if we can find them. Across here. Alright, so let's go and get the Germans. I want them to connect with us, uh, so we're going to try and make that happen across here. Ah, there's just not enough points. Uh, there's 42 point there, but yeah, they can't get it. I think all this is going to be too expensive for them. Yeah, not seeing anything uh, that we'll be able to do. If we can't get that, uh, we can try and go back to us and see if there's... Anything we might want to get that's small, that's 42, and we already know we can't take 42 pointers. All right. Uh, Spain. We need to do something about Spain. I would like to, to conquer them, and then we just have the, the French here in between us and, and them, but I guess we could always puppet them. Maybe we'll do that. Let's maybe pull back on something I took and instead puppet the Spanish. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll pop up the Spanish, which means we will have to pull back from the territory that we took here. Which we actually have to select the Germans to be able to do that. Uh, and that's still too much. Uh, puppeting the Spanish apparently are, is expensive. Alright, well I don't want them to be liberated, so we'll, we'll do what we, whatever we have to do. I'm going to try and find me again. 
All right, so if we have to pull back, then that's fine. Yeah, we'll just pull back from there. And we might have the ability... No, we can't get anything. All right, so let's just, uh, I mean, we could take some territory up along here. Um, but I want to leave it open for if there is a Belarus. I don't want to take all the territory they would have gotten. I wouldn't get there. 11 points right there. All right, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and enter turn. See what they did. Uh, the Americans had a chance. Uh, so let's all see what they did. They did a lot of satelliting. And looks like there's going to be two Spains. That's what I'm seeing here. And they also took Leningrad. <laughs> the Americans did. Okay. <laughs> this is, I have a feeling this is going to be interesting, guys. <laughs> the way this ends up going down. Uh, let's go ahead and take this uh, one province here. And uh, could start giving the territory to the Spanish since, um, you know, clearly we're going to have issues there. They, I don't even know who owns this territory now. Shit. I think we're going to have to wait to work with the Spanish until I can see. I'm hoping that after a turn it will kind of show us what they're they're doing over there because yeah, I have no idea what's what's going on right now. Man, we don't have the points to do shit. Uh, we can get in that one and hopefully we can take that one too. Uh, so we'll get that one and then let's just, I guess, just take more territory for ourselves over here if we can. Uh, might not be able to though. All right. Yeah, we're pretty limited. I think we're going to pass. Uh, I just want to make sure I get that little bit of territory. Let's go to enter turn, see what they did. Uh, they did uh, something with Pro Republic of Spain again. I don't know what the hell's going on with the Spanish. I was going to pass, but now I feel like we have to get them territory because I think they got Madrid, and so we need to get them as much territory along this coast here. I don't know if we'll be able to. Get them Valencia, I guess. I I'd like to get them up along here. But yeah, they we, we just don't need freaking points. Right, so let me just uh, try and do this one more time here. Even if they only have this here. Yeah, okay, we're going to have to pass, guys. We can't do shit. Uh, so let's just go and reset and pass. Otherwise, we're never going to get anything done. And they are taking some territory. Okay. So yeah, all along here, the Allies are taking territory. That's going to be weird. All right, well... We expected that there were going to be some weird stuff happening. Let's go ahead and finish up Spain, guys, because they're kind of the easier one. I'm not going to take that one because I, I don't think we have this here. I really don't know what this is going to look like. We'll just let the... I think Spain's going to look kind of dicked up, honestly. There's not really any way around that. All right, so it's going to connect. So we can't. Um, well, they are short there. Can they get anything? I thought we just passed, man. <laughs> we can't get anything. All right, uh, so let's go, let's go and enter turn. See what they did. Yeah, they continue taking territory up here. All right, that's fine. Do what you want, man. Do what you want. Yeah, I don't know what, how Spain looks right now. Between, I think there might be two sides to Spain. So I'm just going to let them... And I think the, the Republicans are up here. So I think it's just going to be really ugly looking, honestly. All right, so we did pass. So we can take more territory for the Germans. Let's go do that. Try and just clean this up a little bit. And uh, get them some territory along here. And that does look like that would be it. All right, so we're going to get this territory. And uh, is there anything else that they can do? That's a 75-pointer, so that might have been why they couldn't do it. Nope. All right, so it's going to enter turn. And they didn't do anything. It's going to pass again. Let them take more Russian territory, I suppose. As we just try and make a real strong German puppet over here. I'm not seeing anything else that I might miss. I know there's some Spanish territory, but I think that got taken already. Yeah, I think they've already dealt with that. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just continue in Germany. Just give the Germans some territory. Try and give them this here, since they could end up giving that to somebody else. Give this all to the Germans, too. And then, yeah, probably just up along the, the, the borders here until... Actually, let's go this way. And until we run out of points. That's 76. That's at 70. Yeah, that's too much. All right. Um, interesting. The Germans can take that for twelve points. Let's double that for us. They don't even have a they don't have a core there. Strange. Okay, whatever. Uh, we do want to make sure that clean. You know, make this look a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab that. I think that's all we're gonna be able to get. Let's go to pass and see what the Allies did. All right, they took a bit more territory. 
All right, so let's go ahead and continue taking the German territory, trying to wrap this up. Make sure that the French don't get Alsace-Lorraine. <laughs> not getting nothing. Ah, oh, damn. Apparently we're not getting nothing either. All right, so we got that. I want to make sure we had that. Let's go ahead and go after the ones that are up on the borders now. All right, so we can do that one. Uh, it just leaves those two states left. Uh, so let's go ahead and take... I'm thinking about... This would only liberate them. I don't actually want to liberate them. All right, that's fine. We'll just take territory for ourselves then, if we can. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's end our turn then. And yeah, they've got a core bit of territory they have taken here. Let's go ahead and take the rest of the German territory. Just make sure they don't get it. Okay, we can't. All right, so let's just pass, guys. And I don't know if they took anything else. Yeah, they took a bit more territory up there in, in Russia. All right, so let's go ahead and do the rest of Germany now. So Germany is done. Uh, we have finished them up there. Let's go ahead and work on uh, our own territory now. Uh, I'm going to try and make this look a little bit better now. Let's kind of conquer all across here, see what we can get. At the very least, get that, and then we'll want to come up over here, though. I think we might be out of points. Yeah, we're out of points. All right, let's go ahead and turn. And uh, pass again, because we just can't do anything otherwise. All right, and uh, how do we want this to look? Just trying to, obviously, I want to get some more territory here. we got to have that one. And I feel like having this territory here would be key as well. Uh, so yeah, we want we want to try and close them off here if I can. As far as here, if they want to take this, then that's fine. If they want to come up along here, well, you know what? Maybe we can do something like wrap around them, perhaps. I don't know if that'll stop them from taking territory though. So what we might do is like let them have that. I think they could take those two, I suppose. We did pass, so we actually have a bit of points. We might be able to get this done. Nope, not quite. So we have to hope they don't take that, that nobody takes that. Now they, we left them two provinces to take, and that one up there, so hopefully that is enough for them. Uh, let me see if there's anything I can get. It's 36, 12 point there, we'll take that then. Oh, that one's even, yeah, we'll get that one. All right, let's go ahead and turn. And they did take all the territory we left them with the exception of that. Uh, so we should be able to finish this up and get this territory now. And Romania is going to be strong. I think that's it other than that Spanish territory, right? Yeah, I want to say that's it. And of course, we're going to let them... The, we're going to take let the, the British have that. I'm not sure what to do about... Oh, uh, we actually took too much. I didn't realize that. My bad, guys. All right, well, let's go and pull back on that. End our turn. Get that little bit there. Uh, see what they ended up doing, if they did anything. Uh, they did take that up there. Okay, so now it's just a matter of, of Spain. I don't know who to give it to, because I don't know who has this land, man. Because, yeah, you can see it's... You can't see um, who has it. I don't know if it's all one country, because they liberated... I have no idea what happened there, guys. That's the Kingdom of Morocco right there. I, just, I don't know who to give it to. I, you know, I guess we could look in here. And see if there's uh, two Spains. I suppose that's the way to fix there. There's the National of Spain, which is the one we puppeted. Uh, let me see if there's another Spain. If there's not, then this would not be an issue. But they did liberate somebody, but they can sometimes do that even when they, they technically can't. There's not another... Oh, there it is right there. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to give it to them. Because right, I don't I don't want it to look too weird. I mean, it's already going to look kind of bad. And that is everything. All right, so let's go and end our turn, or end the, the peace treaty. It's probably going to take a little while. There's a lot of adjustments made with territory and stuff. And uh, just kind of see how this, this ends up looking. So, yeah, I'm glad I did give that territory to Republic of Spain. Uh, it looks almost like the Civil War. Wow. All right. That's kind of cool. I mean, obviously, major differences. Not quite the, same, the Spanish Civil War, but you know what I mean, guys. Uh, and this is how Germany looks. This is a powerful German puppet that we have. They are our, our puppet now. Uh, what we got for subjects out of this was uh, the Spanish and the, the Germans. Uh, they are a supervised state, though. Uh, so we can annex them or they can be free, so it's a special thing. Um, so yeah, we could annex them. But it doesn't look like you can. It says it's always false, so I don't think you have that option. I think a supervised state is like they eventually become free and there's no way to really avoid it. So I don't think Germany will always be our puppet, unfortunately. Uh, but the Spanish are a regular puppet, so we get uh, 
you know, build there and, and get them integrated, get more stuff from them. But yeah, this is the way it looks. I, I hate it, guys. I, I didn't want this to be the way it was, especially with this here. Uh, that's terrible. But I forgot to bring that I needed the Russians in. You gotta have the Russians in. But this is the way Romania looks. Extremely powerful, guys. Uh, of course, we are a member of the Allies that's right now. And uh, we still gotta get the, the Japanese defeated, uh, which we're gonna have to, like, you know, get all this uh, prepared. Uh, so I imagine. It's gonna take us a little while to get them all built and get all the troops sent over there. Uh, we currently have these guys going now. Uh, this army could be increased as well. Uh, we wanna put some troops over there. And what I might do is just take like troops from the yellow army, but one of the other armies that we have right here, I think we have some Russian troops, and we'll just take these guys and move them over to this front since I think they need more divisions. Yeah, they, they still could use four more. We'll get those guys going over there. Still have the alert from the invasion because uh, we haven't wrapped this up. But yeah, I guess that's what we're going to be doing uh, now is we're going to wrap up uh, Egypt, finish it up. Uh, I'm not going to fight in Africa too much. I'll let the allies do that. Uh, it doesn't look like they have much territory left here anyways. We'll just try and get them pushed down a little bit to like right around here. Maybe put a little force to defend, but I don't, I don't really want to fight in Africa. I want to concentrate on the war in, in Asia where it actually matters. Uh, so we're going to continue building up here. We're going to go at a faster speed now. Yeah, they, they're going to go free. There's really no way to avoid that. Uh, we got some stuff we can develop. We'll take a look at all that next episode. Uh, and, of course, we got these exile divisions here as well. Uh, we'll have to get moved around. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to move a ton of troops to the east. But, again, supply will be an issue if we don't build up the infrastructure first. So that's what we'll do. We're going to take care of the infrastructure, build it all the way across, keep on building up these forts. And then we're going to uh, pull the Russians into the war against the Japanese, Try to take over all this territory and launch invasions into the Japanese mainland. And uh, use all these paratroopers, too, uh, that we got training. We got a bunch of paratroopers training, so we're going to try and gain control of the skies there. Uh, I, I, I suppose we'll go ahead and end the episode here, and I'll go ahead and move all the planes around, get them focusing on the Eastern Theater now, uh, see what we can do about the air wings. Maybe we should keep them out of the fight first so that they can re you know build up their losses, because we actually have a shortage of... Well, looks like we don't have a... Sh oh, because we just got all those fighters. That's right. We got all those fighters from uh, the Germans. So we actually don't have a, a fighter shortage anymore. Uh, so, But those planes might be uh, out of date, so maybe we still will we'll want to keep them out of battle for a little bit. Uh, we're going to want to start bombing as well. We can just have to... Until we get the tactical bombers, the, the newer ones that we want, we can just use close air support for bombing. They're okay at it, so they can do naval bombing all right. Start uh, bombing the Japanese fleet. Let's just take a look and see what the Japanese got right now. Uh, so a lot of troops, um, still a lot of manpower left, uh, a lot of ships, uh, almost 500 ships. Uh, we'll have to take a look at how the Allied uh, naval powers look, uh, and just looking at the casualties and stuff. Now war, particip war participation is only one percent against Japanese, but we're going to increase that. And yeah, they have 4.04 million casualties. And now we only have 6,000. We've only lost 6,000 against them. Uh, and we've killed 161,000. Wow. All right, so we've uh, done pretty good against them, I would say. And uh, the that's the other thing I want to look at is how many ships everybody has. So 338 for the British, so definitely less ships than the, than the Japanese. 14 for the French here and 225 for the United States. So between the US and the, the British combined, they, they do have more ships than the Japanese do. Uh, but yeah, Japan's pretty strong, man. They're gonna be a, they'll be a tough fight. Uh, but yeah, we'll be doing that in the following episode. Just uh, focusing now entirely on the Asian theater. And uh, maybe make use of our nukes as well. That's how we'll probably have to, uh, you know, I imagine all the ports are going to be well defended. Maybe not. We've had a few times where we can attack up here in the north and it's just not well defended and we can break through and, and then it's a wrap after that. But if they are well defended, we'll use the nukes to uh, to deal with that, uh, which means we're going to have to send a ton of planes, which means we need air bases as well. I don't think we have enough air bases. We're going to need to bring a lot of air bases. Yeah, you can see these ones are already uh, manned by quite a, quite a bit right now. So we're going to have to do a lot of building over here, guys. Uh, so I imagine next episode is going to be an entire episode of just building up as we prepare to pull the Russians in and getting troops situated and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. With, it was mostly just a peace treaty, but, you know, kind of see how the world looks now. The UK got all this territory up here with, you know, just the United States having Leningrad and that's it. Uh, we should also take a look in, at our factories and resources and stuff and see if there's anything we can do uh, on that front. If, like, we want to make use of more factories, if we have the resources to justify it, uh, that is an option. And obviously figure out the resource situation, too, because it looks like we have some issues there. 
Uh, we'll do all that next episode. I do hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching, guys.